Since 1942, when the Second World War was not over yet, European countries were already planning for reconstruction in a universal effort to build peace. At the end of the war, in November 1945, 37 countries met in London, including Egypt, Lebanon and Saudi Arabia, and founded the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, to embody a genuine culture of peace and to establish the intellectual and moral solidarity of mankind necessary to prevent another world war. Egypt proposed the establishment of a permanent UNESCO center in Cairo to better address the needs, circumstances and difficulties of non-European nations and to serve as UNESCO's liaison to its member states at the Arab League. Thus, in 1947, the UNESCO Field Science Cooperation Office for the Middle East was opened in Cairo's historic Garden City area. Cairo, an intellectual and cultural center in the region, was the perfect location for which this young organization could seek to defend and promote its ideals to the Arab world. ينشأ خارج منظمة اليونسكو في فرنسا في وطن هو مصر اليونسكو معروف بعراقته يعني إنه هو من زمان وأقدم مكتب في في الشرق الأوسط لحد دلوقتي يعني ليه هنا في مصر ما يقارب عن سبعين سنة ومعروف بقت العمارة بعمارة اليونسكو حتى العنوان الناس نسيته لما بدل ما يتكلموا على العنوان بيقولوا آه عمارة اليونسكو وإحنا كنا مبسوطين بكده اشتغلت 30 سنة في مكتب اليونسكو كنت أخذ بوست سينيور أسيسن فور كوميونيكيشن أند أدمستريشن الحكومة المصرية قدمت مقر أكثر من رائع للمنظمة اليونسكو تم افتتاحه في بداية هذا العام UNESCO promotes access to equitable, inclusive quality education and lifelong learning for all. This includes policy development and reforms, curricular review and the monitoring of related sustainable development targets. Through the use of information and communication technologies and with a focus on girls and women, UNESCO Cairo, in cooperation with its cluster countries, Egypt, Sudan and Libya, is laying the foundation for more literate and inclusive societies. The office continues to strengthen the education system, deliver resilient responses to emergency situations. UNESCO also promotes tolerance, intercultural dialogue, and more informed citizens. It focuses on building knowledge societies through access to information for development, training of information professionals, and by responding to the information needs of vulnerable groups, such as persons with disabilities. It supports schools of journalism and media councils and the development of codes of ethics among media practitioners. Media and information literacy of youths enables them to participate responsibly in the digital spaces and to develop resilience to online challenges. Efforts are deployed to prevent extremism, particularly among youth, to promote dialogue and gender equality and to help Arab cities become more inclusive spaces where vulnerable groups such as youth, women and migrants have equal opportunities and are not left behind. We are in the United States of Arabia, we are going to make the UNESCO in Cairo to make the UNESCO for 70 years. And in this situation, I would like to share the relationship that has been created by the UNESCO in Cairo in the United States of Arabia. وخاصة في مجالات عديدة منها المجالات التنموية المجالات الإعلامية والمجالات الثقافية المختلفة التي تهتم بها اليونسكو وخاصة في مجال إعلاء القيم الإنسانية والتنموية في المجتمعات العربية. UNESCO fosters the development of science and technology across the Arab region to reduce poverty and establish peace. It works on the protection of the natural environment by enhancing ecosystems' resilience and adaptation to climate change. It also contributes to the designation and protection of biosphere reserves and geological heritage sites. Good practices in the management of natural resources, including water as an increasingly scarce resource, contributes to improved livelihoods. Water security is promoted through cooperative approaches to transboundary water resources, such as the Nile River, 
which is a source of life for all countries that share its shores. UNESCO also promotes gender parity in science education and research access. We are working on the development and support of the development 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 of the After construction of the Aswan High Dam, UNESCO responded to the appeal of the Egyptian and Sudanese governments to save the monuments of Nubia from flooding and complete destruction. An international campaign was launched in 1960 that led to the excavation and recording of hundreds of sites and the relocation of a number of important temples to higher ground, the most famous of which is the temple complexes of Abu Simbel and Fili. The campaign was an incredible display of international solidarity for heritage and inspired the creation of the 1972 Convention for the Protection of the Cultural and Natural Heritage. لو كلمنا على الحاجات التاريخية اللي اليونسكو قدر إن هو يحققها في مصر ما ننساش أبدا مكتبة اسكندرية واللي حصل إن مكتبة اسكندرية أعيد تاني بعد سنوات طويلة وبقت منارة للثقافة والحضارة مش بس في مصر يمكن في دول العالم بالجلّة. Today Egypt has seven important sites inscribed on UNESCO's renowned World Heritage List. In 1982, the international campaign was directed to the establishment of the Nubian Museum in Aswan and the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in Cairo that partially opened its doors to the public in February 2017. UNESCO continues to provide technical assistance to the Egyptian government for the preservation of these sites and to engage the youth in its protection. This protection is extended to the intangible cultural heritage, such as oral traditions, rituals, festive events, and traditional crafts. لقد كان شعارنا وما زال هو بناء السلام في في عقول الرجال والنساء. ولعل أهمية اليونسكو كما ذكرنا تتزايد وتتعاظم على العمل على تحقيق أهداف التنمية المستدامة أجندة 2030 والتي أقرتها جميع الدول العربية. والتي تميزت ووسمت من قبل الكثير بأنها أجندة للعلوم وللثقافة ولترويج العلوم ولتسخيرها بالشكل الأفضل والأنجع في خدمة التنمية الإنسانية المستدامة وإن شاء الله سنستمر في هذه المهمة بالتعاون وبدعم من كافة شركائنا في المنطقة العربية في مصر وفي المنطقة العربية ككل. سبعين سنة من التعاون. لازال قدامنا كتير إن شاء الله نحققه مع بعض إن شاء الله في المستقبل القريب هيكون هناك تعاون أكتر وتكون مكتب الإقليمي واللجنة الوطنية المصرية لليونسكو في مصر هي منارة اليونسكو على مستوى الإقليمي الجغرافي بالكامل La promesse de l'UNESCO, ce que nous devons au monde, c'est d'oeuvrer dans ce cadre multilatéral en agissant sur les causes profondes de notre destin collectif, en transmettant des valeurs universelles de paix par l'éducation, la culture, les sciences, les libertés. Par ces missions, Par sa voix, par ses actions concrètes, l'UNESCO est en prise directe avec le devenir de l'humanité dans le temps long.